actually from the time that Marlies started the very first Ministry of New in Lalba. She was always busy with these kind of themed events and making events more interesting and adding more value. So, for example, she used to have these Alfred Hitchcock nights where, you know, you'd watch an Alfred Hitchcock movie and then you'd have Bloody Marys and you'd have these kind of themed food. So, uh, we had storytelling nights where we had like old old school lighting and like sleeping bags and kind of had this very, uh, or, 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 or kind of very cozy uh, uh, seating, I remember. Uh, and, you know, just as if you were tucking in to listen to a story at night. So I remember we, from the very beginning, this was part of the concept. And definitely now we've taken it like one step further. So we've done everything from health related events, where we did a whole vinyasa flow workshop from a health retreat in Kerala uh, called Soul and Surf. So they came and did this workshop followed by like a healthy coach. <clears throat> we did that. We did recently, we had the launch of a magazine called Serial. Uh, which had a focus on Jaipur, so we brought in like different Jaipur elements and that was done in a collaboration with Paper Planes, which is a company that we're working with to get interesting magazines, attract interesting kind of um, uh, reading material to the space. Um, we did an exhibition for, uh, curated by a London designer, a London curator, who had 12 different female artists from all across India, and we did that exhibition actually one week after we launched and that attracted some 700 people. So we've, we've had a very kind of wide range, everything relating from health to art to um, sometimes very intimate evenings. We had one poetry reading, it was one of our um, members who was launching a poetry book of her own. So that was very nice. We did like a reading of that with some music and some discussion about poetry and the, and the, and the role of poetry in our lives today. So it's, it's basically, I would say, to generalize, it's all to get different kind of conversations going and to have a different kind of conversation than just the hi, how are you, what do you do type of conversation. And I think that that actually does happen here. It's one of the unique things about being a member here. Well, I think you've, you've seen this complete mushrooming of all these collaborative workspaces, especially in the last few years. So I think that in itself already answers the question that yes, there is a need for these kind of ecosystems for the startup world. It's not easy uh, when you're starting up a new concept and uh, the kind of focus, the kind of time, the kind of energy. If you're working out of collaborative workspace, for sure, a lot of your headaches of the overheads and, and, and even on a cost factor, it's just taken care of so that you can focus just purely on your business. I think that's great. Uh, also, when there's events and you know different mentorship programs, then that also helps a lot. So I, I definitely think in general that it's, um, I just see them, it, I just see it going up rather than stabilizing anytime soon. So. So I think in the future, um, we're definitely looking towards these things. We're only a very new company. We just only launched about five and a half months ago. <laughs> so, um, but definitely in the future, these kind of things would be very interesting to focus on, these kind of um, mentorships. I must say, though, that we are, we, we are trying to set ourselves apart from the kind of traditional tech-based incubator style of collaborative workspaces, because we are indeed focused a little bit more on design and culture. Uh, which I think is unique uh, and, and that's one of the things that we've been appreciated by and that's also the kind of variety of people that you come see, see entering the space. Uh, we would never want to lose that. But definitely as we go we will see how we can continue adding like more value to our members. Yeah, we have actually been inundated with requests ever since we launched. Um, we are looking to expand. Uh, Primarily first in Bombay, uh, and because we also want to offer the value that people would be able to move from branch to branch, especially the individuals or freelancers who have to, you know, cross the city for all sorts of meetings, client meetings, this and that, so just to make their lives a lot more easier. Um, and I think the next space we'd be looking at would be towards Bandra. So any Bandra companies that are interested in the space with us, please get in touch. Uh, and that's probably the most immediate plan right now. But for sure, first Mumbai and then looking at other cities like Delhi or Bangalore. So. Uh, 
Um, I think right now, Minister of New really needs a lot of you know attention and focus. Uh, there's so much potential for what I see is possible for the Ministry of New. Um, there's there's a lot more potential for events. I mean, a lot of people have really been interested in the cultural aspect as well. Like whenever we have an event, we, we have a lot of people come to it, which also shows that maybe in the city there's not enough um, going on, or maybe people don't know about it. So I, I definitely see there's a huge opportunity there besides the regular kind of um, collaborative workspace model. So. Um, that might be one opportunity. Uh, personally, I don't know, one day I'd love to write a book, <laughs> but that is like right now on the back burner. So, because that's, 